Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Gossballs here. Welcome to today's YouTube video. In today's YouTube video, guys, we're going to go ahead and talk about how you guys can fix lag and also connect your controller inside of Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Welcome to today's video, guys. Again, if you guys are new here, please make sure you guys drop a sub, drop a like, and make sure to comment down below if you guys would like to go ahead and support the channel. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about it. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is the Star Wars Jedi Survivor and how you guys can actually go ahead and fix your lag. We all know Star Wars and EA always come in with the most highest quality and best games around so what you guys would need to do is you guys would actually have to go around and lower your fps and then after that you guys have, will also have to lower your frame rate meaning that you would have to go ahead and play the game at a little bit of a lower pace meaning that the game would actually have to drop just by a little bit more so you guys can actually go ahead and get a better gaming experience so obviously if you guys are running 120 fps you guys can just simply lower that down to 60 or 30 fps just so you guys can go ahead and play your game obviously people don't have some graphics cards or some people don't have the best thick graphics because they're using a playstation 4 playstation 5 or any xbox console so lowering the graphics will obviously lower the quality but you will be able to go ahead and play the game also before you have bought the game you should have went ahead and checked the graphic standards so you guys could have played to your maximum ability because there's no sense to buy a game and waste your money on something that your pc or console cannot handle again the next thing we're going to talk about is how you guys can actually go ahead and connect a controller what you guys have to do is simply go ahead onto the ea website or steam and simply configure your controller like you would with any other game or if that doesn't work maybe it already has controller support so simply just go ahead plug in your controller and you should be good to go for star wars jedi survivor again i just wanted to make this video very quick and very simple so you guys would understand everything so again if you guys are new here please make sure you guys drop a sub drop a like and hit the notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you guys so much for watching peace